In this video, you will see step-by-step -step precision machining of a part using various measuring probes designed and produced by Topcom.cz. First, we need to measure the workpiece origin. We will use the probe DIG 3DR, or low-profile spindle fixed version. Large tools, such as a flywheel cutter, can be measured using the manual tool setter. It's only while, and now we are ready to start machining. First, we will level the surface using the flywheel cutter. When using the correct machining parameters, the surface of the aluminum alloy becomes mirror-like and glossy. In the next step, we will measure the height difference between the material surface and the switching point of the TLS. This value will be used for all following tools. As the TLS can be used any fixed Z-axis sensor, DIG Z-Fix or DIG 3D Fix. Now we are ready, and machining can start. The length of each tool is measured using a fixed sensor, utilizing the previously measured difference between the material surface and the sensor. Using a fixed sensor significantly increases the accuracy of measuring the height of individual tools. The length of each subsequent tool is always measured easily, quickly, and accurately using the fixed TLS sensor. Once all internal geometry is complete, we proceed with machining the outer contour. To do this, we use the internal holes to fix the part. We'll create a custom fixture plate to which the workpiece will be screwed. As soon as the fixture is ready, we screw the workpiece to it using countersunk head screws to accurately center the part's position. Since the Z-level of the material surface has changed, we need to remeasure the difference between the material surface and the TLS sensor. When the tool is measured, we can machine the outer contour of the part. Care must be taken during machining, as the part is held only by screws. The final step on the top side is chamfering the outer edge using a V-bit. Once the top side is finished, we clean the part and clamp it back into the vise with the bottom side facing up. On the bottom side, we again use one of the internal holes as the X-Y reference. The next steps are straightforward. We level the surface to its final form using the flywheel cutter. And finally we chamfer all sharp edges using the V-bit. The part is finished and ready for final cleaning. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you realize how simple and precision machining can be with our probes and sensors. For more information visit our webpage or check out this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.